All right, we're back this week with uh, Matrix Revolutions. Yeah, Matrix Revolutions. As of this point of this video, the revolution. Right? Revolution. So as, at this point of this video, it is a trilogy until next month. Then what is it after next month? Uh it's it's called Matrix Resurrection, I believe. No, what do you call it? A quadrilogy or? Oh, that's right. What do they call it? I don't know. Just a full film collection, right? <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Right, yeah, let's go with the easy way right out. Easy way out. <laughs> yeah, for film for collection. Movie, for movie collection. So what's the, what's the fourth one going to be called? Resurrections. Oh, Resurrections. Yeah, I believe it's Resurrections. Let me double check myself real quick. Because it comes out on HBO Max also. And maybe that's the maybe last it should one. be called like uh, The Matrix The Return or Matrix The Next Generation or <laughs> Matrix. It just says resurrection. The... It doesn't say like yeah. the next next matrix, right? Matrix, the next oh, like to, three chapters. Yeah, matrix, the next three so we'll chapters. See. So okay, so my first opinion from you off the bat, right? Did you like this uh, first time watching it? I liked it. Oh, I was, was put it that way. I do have complaints. I mean, I did think it was too long. Oh yeah, it was a lot longer. But than I the did like one. it. I like. I actually kind of like it better than this one. You like this one better than the second one? Yeah, I like the I like the second one because I guess it has a because res, it's a resolution to the story. Yes, I usually like it when I get a, an an ending to a story because oh. I mean, it's like Batman, you know, uh, no Christopher Nolan's Batman. I almost like I like the first one the best, but I like the third one better than I like the second one. Okay, you know, I know everybody's about the second one, but I'm like, well, finally it it closes the chapter on it. Oh, so well, the second one also closes like the movie, but like. So you don't like Back to the Future 2 then? Because it didn't give you a, a, a closing, right? It, it left did. it wide open. I did. I did a while, but actually, I don't like it as much as I like the third one either, I don't think. So now that's the point I'm bringing up. Like, me, it's the second one's, uh, the second one's in this, this trilogy. The second one's, it seems like, they just got to set up the story. It's like, oh, we get another shot making the movie. We got to set the story real quick. It's like, oh, I got this story that you really don't need. But hey, they make up for it with the third one because they complete the story and then you're okay. So on the only these, second movie the, of, a, of a trilogy I've ever liked is Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back because yeah, because it set up a lot of woes. You know, it did this right. Is cool. It's one of the, well, obviously Unexpected it's my favorite Star Wars movie. But it's actually not a trilogy since there's nine of them now. Well, yeah, at that time, see that's what I'm even saying. Even though like, time, but right, it, it just but, but even though, yeah. It was like it was like there was going to be a Star Wars, and then they go, "Oh, well, we got to make more now." Okay, the same you know. thing with Matrix. It's like they made Matrix, in mm -hmm. the first movie could have stand by itself. Yeah. The second it was almost like a whole other story. Just added on a third one, the first one. Right. Yeah, the, it's like they were like, "What are we going? To, what are we going to make up now?" <laughs> it's the way I get these two Matrixes. That's why I'm not in a. That's why I'm not that interested in this fourth one. Oh, okay. Because it's going to be like. Well, this is the route we had to go because we wanted to make another one. I'm like, why? Some I don't of the best. Know, you're right. Yeah. Movies, some of the best movies don't have sequels. Yeah, you're right. Kind of like um, well, you, like you said, right? I want to bring that point back because um, I you mean, said I the understand. Matrix was good, right? I, mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. There's probably a lot of people like Matrix, and they tried to make a universe. You know, it was a universe. They built a universe for Matrix. I mean, a lot of people probably go, we didn't. We heard about I uh, Ion the first, or is it what's the name? Zion. Of yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know what's saying. I, uh, they're saying science. <laughs> it's science. But you see, they're talking about science. science. Yeah, they're talking about. Yeah, they're, well, they talk about science. We never saw Zion in the first movie. No. They just talk about it. So I'm sure there's people going, "What's Zion?" So the second movie, they're like, "Hey, let's tell you the story of Zion." Yep, with the council well, and the so, politics. But it's weird. It's like they've had the Matrix forever. They had six matrices, and all of a sudden, the aliens just now want to attack Zion again. <laughs> what? 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 Well, why? They just all said, "Hey, let's still do it." And then the way you see the battle, it's like so. The basically the alien, the aliens could have, or the AI aliens could have yeah. took Zion whenever they wanted, any time in its history. Can they? But like they were just it searching the for way these I, humans, the right? way that battle, as long as that battle was, yes. And it, it's all they do is drill a hole, and they just all come in. Guys got all these mechs, which. Those are some crappy battle mechs they got, man. But they're shooting all those aliens. And stuff. I'm like, this is this is how you defend Zion? Well, how would you want them to defend Zion? You would think they'd have better technology if this happens a lot. 
All what they do they? is have this big hole with these things digging through it. You know, but here's the problem. It's all the ships had those little uh, EPMs on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm to- like, why couldn't they? Why couldn't they invent a little smaller EPM system or grid over the dome? It knocks some things out. Oh, I don't know. I didn't think about that. But hey, the oh, but we got a group of people that from the last ship, the last ship. I didn't like the movies. Then we'll get into what I like. I actually like it because it some of the characters more, made them more important. Yes. You know, because this was actually not a story about the Matrix. This is a story about their world. They're one of the humans, yeah. Almost everything in this one takes place in the actual world and outside of the Matrix. The majority of the story does. Yes. You know, so it gives them, it gives, it's almost like another story. To me, it's almost like the uh, the fourth Terminator movie. You're finally in that universe. Oh, in that future that they were talking about. Instead of it spilling about, yeah. out. Yeah, still in the parts of it is spilled out. Their war. But the new thing, either way, it's, it's these people, because they're flying around on a ship, kept calling the ship the hammer. Yeah, it's actually the, called now. Is Meowneer. What? Oh, that's the name of the ship. The ship is called Meowneer. Really? You know, the, yeah, this is a ship, but they say it. most of the people couldn't pronounce it, so they just call it the hammer. Oh, uh, I was ashamed of those people. I didn't. I didn't catch that. Did they ever yeah. say Meowneer? Yes, it's it's it's, it's written a lot. Of the, I never said it in the movie. Thinking the name list on the games and stuff. Yeah. it's Meowneer. Oh, and then they all just call it hammer because you can't say Meowneer. <laughs> oh, interesting. They say Lego, Lagos and all the other yeah, yeah. Things. They say all the Lagos and Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar is harder to say than Mjolnir. Is yeah. it really? I think it is. I don't know. I think it's the M J O and H and I and R is you know Nebuchadnezzar. Well, they Hope might the call this harder ship. on this. Okay, on yeah, Mjolnir. Might as well you know. the ship Jonathan and just went on with it. <laughs> that would be extraordinary if they just called Jonathan. Exactly, <laughs> Jonathan. So okay, but I did, but I did like it that some of the people that you thought like okay in the second movie we saw uh, uh what's her pick uh, Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith Naomi. Yeah, yeah Naomi. That's why well, I'm trying to come up with her name. Yeah, she didn't have a big role in the second one, but no. in this one, she's the MB. Yeah, she's the most you know she flies a ship. Yeah, she's she somebody. Fly the ship, yeah. Which she actually kind of saves all of them. Yes, because that was, uh, they were talking about like you can um, fly the ship due to yeah. passageways. Those guys are all, because everybody said, and that's what I don't like. I always think about that. Yo, you can't do that. You do that. Of course you could do that. You fuck it. Unless you you're in the down here. Man, come on. You're the <laughs> ship named after Marvel character on the hammer Marvel. You could fly through anywhere you want to. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, like, I did like the story better. I mean, I, no, I mean, it, just the only problem I had with it. There's one problem I had with it, really. It's the timing. Timing. It did feel like it felt long. It felt long, yeah. This one was over two hours, was, and the last one wasn't. Yeah, because I, I kind of got to- bored with some parts of it. I mean, I wanted to get to the end, so I sat there. But I was only ever able to watch this once. A week. Yeah, you're right. You only sometimes I watch these movies twice to see, if, you know, because yeah, this is good. But I was like. No, I'm not watch this another time. It's just too long. It just drags on. I mean, okay. if they let me do the Shane it on it, <laughs> yeah, it'd okay. be an hour and thirty minutes. So, but it'd just be the same movie. So it's been a while since I watched this too, right? and I guess this last time I watched it, I liked it a lot better. I remember, like, I didn't remember this movie at all. Yeah. Except for the train part. So, because last time we talked about like the Matrix within a Matrix, right? Kind of like the Thirteen Four. But I guess in this one, right away, right, they show Neo. For some reason, he could jack, jack into the Matrix without being hooked up. Yeah. Because that's what happened. Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a, it's but, but with that, fan. right, they introduced another character, the Train Man. Yeah, the Train Man. And the Train Man, what's up with this? This guy's like supposed to be this powerful Train Man. He controls this whole thing. He looks like a bomb. Oh. He does. He looks like, like a homeless, homeless person, right? Oh yeah, he looks scary, man. So I think, right, so man. I guess, in a way, it's kind of like Scarlet Rich, right? You cannot use your powers within my program because I am the most power. As he put it, I am God here. Yeah, he was a. He was so he's the passageway between the Matrix and the programming. He had an attitude. Yeah, he had an attitude along with looks. Yes, I, I guess it's like a. I don't know if it's, I don't, maybe it's like a mode or something. I don't know. It I'm, just seems to be another program where he programs from 
the real from the AI world to, to the, the matrix. Real world. So basically, that's the matrix. Matrix is a big old giant program to keep the humans pacified where they use electricity. Yeah. And apparently, the only programs that were in the matrix originally were programs that help build and maintain matrix. <gasps> but the train man, he must be, he smuggles in other programs, the machine world, because in the AI universe, yeah. like I'm trying to say, all programs must have a function or destroyed. Yes. Yes. Deleted or repurposed or something. So that's why, and somehow the program goes, oh, we know about love. So they're bringing this girl to the deal because they love her. It's to show it's human like, emotion, right? Yeah, they're trying to say they show human emotion. So they're trying to make them emotion. So are, do they have it? Because, I mean, if you feel love and all that stuff and it's not written in a program, then you're not really artificial anymore. You're right, not, we, we talked about life. that because these are not artificial anymore. They already at that next level. I would level. think that. But you wonder, though, why they got their own city? Why do they want to try to be human? Oh, America's because at the end, he goes to Machine City. I mean, for a second, I thought I was watching Star Trek, and I, I didn't. I was waiting for Captain Kirk to show up with the Enterprise, and find Vijir, but he never did. <laughs> then Keanu Reeves went there, he fought all the aliens, and talked to some baby, some baby at AI with the baby's face. Remember, <laughs> he made a chair, and he fights. And the whole thing. Here's the funny thing: the whole movie became about not fighting the machines or fighting AI anymore. It, the whole movie came about fighting Agent Smith, who, in a way, AI and Neo created themselves. They, they made him. Right. So, like, on, on this one, yeah. Smith is a much more of a virus, right? Because towards yeah. the end, he had... I would say he's a virus. Yeah. He takes, he's, he's infecting everything and taking over everything. Yeah, because at the he's end, making, that's all that was. Yeah, basically, anybody that's in the program for the AI, for the Matrix, he takes over their bodies. Yes, he took over their bodies. Takes over their bodies. He beats everybody. He even beats the Oracle, which I, I like the Oracle more in this movie than I know normal Why is that? Because to me, the Oracle is always a crap. Is the way I saw it. Because she would always act like she knows what you're going to say, mm -hmm. but she never tells you anything. You know? No. Yeah. You so, never tell like to say, it's like you go to the Oracle. And the Oracle goes. It's like you know the Oracle knows everything. She tells you she knows everything. Yeah. And after something happens, she goes, "Yeah, you caught that because I knew you were going to catch that." Or let's say you eat a cookie. And then she goes, yep, I knew you were going to eat that cookie. I was like, she's full of crap because she never tells the future. No, she's not telling the future, right? You talked no, about that. From Oracle's supposed to know the future, though. She's supposed to know everything that's going to happen. That's what Oracle is. Right, I know, I know. But, the, but that's the thing. But Your reasoning was that because like this is what the, I'm saying, way, the though, algorithm that runs. Most yeah. likely, this person is going to do that. Yeah, most likely. She never tells anybody what most likely they're going to do until after they do it. So that to me, that's like... You're walking away going, oh, yeah, she knows everything because she knew I was going to eat that cookie. Right, because like, the, well, the computer if she knew I was gonna, If she knew I was going to eat that cookie, she would have told me I was going to eat a cookie long before I ate a cookie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. But here's why I like her in the second, the last movie, because she doesn't know anymore now. No, she doesn't. And I'm thinking she really didn't know a lot of stuff anyways, but she... So was just a good guesser. She just used... Cause she, no, but that's the thing. She never made a guess. Oh, she never made a guess. And in the movies, it's think about it. Likely. Everything she said, she never made any guesses. She just told you what you wanted to hear. You went and did it, and she claimed responsibility for what your actions you picked. Want to say that again? Because we cut in and That's, out. Okay, she lets you go do what she'll she'll just say something that doesn't mean anything. You go out and you make choices, and you come back, and you and then she'll say, "Oh yeah, I knew you would make those choices." Mm. She doesn't know what she, because she never tells people. The choices are gonna make. No, it's the thing. If somebody somebody could future or knows or make a good guess, they're gonna guess what you're gonna do, and then it will happen. Nowhere in this does she ever guess what's gonna happen. Right, 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 right. Nowhere in the movie does she ever make any assessment of what's gonna happen. Wow. We automatically just assume from what the, the little bit of interaction we see or hear that she already knows, but she, there was never where she goes, "Oh, this is gonna happen," or "That's gonna happen." Just tell somebody something. They go make the choice, and then she takes credit for it. Yeah. <laughs> so on this one, like, that's not like a, lot a true less... fortune teller. Yeah. So this one, they, they they cut out a lot of the action scenes too. Like, there's not a lot of kung fu fighting in this one. No. They spend a lot of time talking. They did spend a lot of time talking. Maybe that's what it's so long. I mean, like, and also like the Melvo Vingian show. But I did think again, some right? of the battle scenes do well. Like, 
like uh, Melville Vingen showed up. Yeah. The twins. Uh, was it, was yeah, the Mel twins there? No. No. Well, you must have been right. They were killed. They were killed. Yeah, that's right. I think that's what we were going to talk about. So that's how you kill ghosts. Yeah, Blow you them could up. burn them. <laughs> yeah. Burn them. So if you have a haunted house, burn it down. So, and then they didn't have a lot of thick fire. cut in this one, right? It just, they go to that club, they get near, yeah, and then but, that was it. Yeah, they just in the club real quick. He's like, okay, I'll make oh, it. Oh, that was please. the action scene right there. They have a, they shot through the stuff and Sheriff was shooting too. There's not a lot of yeah. fighting. Oh yeah, that was that was actually a pretty, that was almost a good fighting scene. Of course, when we that fighting scene starts, so the first thing I said was like, man, they sure do like pillars. <laughs> they you know, do. Pillars, because <laughs> every movie has a pillar and they just <laughs> around them and they shoot them all up. I was like, what? It's either they like them or they don't like them because they get. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. But I mean, every scene is they keep putting. It. I mean, I thought I thought it was kind of neat, but I didn't want it to go on as did because I'm like, I was a fight scene like this. Yeah. The, the only unique thing you did is now they're on the ceiling. Oh yeah, like like immediately those two guys get on the ceiling, right? Yeah, I mean it was interesting though. So they they get in there and they go up there and then of course they walk through the club with all the guns. Oh, with that like, like that, that little breeway right there. Yeah, they make a deal. Yeah, <laughs> super standoff right there. Okay, so so I guess on the um the twins part, right? Like you kill them, so they know that when Trinity pulled a gun on the Melville engine, he could die. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, apparently the gun kill all programs. Yeah, you can kill all programs. Because apparently, apparently the gun is like a delete button. Yeah, yeah. But, like, once See. you no longer assist, you're deleted. You must, yeah. I mean, I guess that's what it is. You think you're holding a gun, but actually you're carrying around a delete button. Yeah. Well, I guess because wow. he's a program that's not supposed to really be there anyways. Yeah, he's not supposed to be there anyways, but they don't want to prolong their life. Yeah, so he don't want any part of that. So he's like, yeah, I'll make you a deal. We'll do that. So, I want a really funny thing here, right? Like, because I'm like, I'm watching all these movies and you know, like these machines, these threats, right? Why do these kind of machines, not necessarily just the Matrix, right? Always have to look so intimidating. Like, why can't it look like something like a donut <laughs> or a little kitten? A or little kitten like that, right? around like, with like Terminator. Yeah, a little kitten run, a little kitten running around with a machine gun. <laughs> like, because if you're playing a video game like that, what are you gonna do? Like, uh, what was that movie we watched recently? You Galaxy do have a good Quest. Point. Remember those cute yeah. little alien things? Yeah. And yeah. the other one, Mom and Dad Saved the World, right? You ever seen that movie? I don't know if I saw Mom and I, Dad. I, I might not have the title, right? right? But these are little mushroom things. They look so cute, right? They hop. They look like they're going to help you. And when they open <laughs> that little lid, it's like spiky-ass teeth. <laughs> like, I want to see more of this. <laughs> because those well, little squid things from uh, The Matrix. Well, the pan because in the matrix though it's based on what humans think and humans don't see those threatening so they're not going to be threatening i thought it was just like a really funny rope but though you know like oh you think it's this thing but it's not tough. yeah no i'm thinking because because the way humans see threatening stuff and tough I yeah. mean, because it's our society right now anything that's threatening or tough people gotta that's why so many people with dodge chargers because they look threatening that's why so many people wear tattoos now because it's like what they do in prison it's tough that's why everybody dog is pit bull. This is tough. Oh. But underneath all everything, everyone's wearing their little panties. So <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> Did you like the machines that the uh, the humans are fighting with? It reminded me of no, aliens, I, I, Yeah, right? I remember I already talked about yeah. those. No, the mechs. I was like, yeah, the dude. Mechs, yeah. <sighs> Did it remind I you of come... aliens? Like, but... No, Vegas? actually, it didn't remind me of Aliens. It reminded me of uh, Avatar. Oh, that's right. I Avatar yeah. Avatar too. But but been a mech, so I like battle mechs, so I like mechs. Yeah, I don't like those. their mechs. No, but like, I guess I it's the there. special effects make it look kind of fake, right? Yeah, well, I mean, we can't hate on the match, uh, the special I mean, we could gripe about the special effects now, but... Oh, back then it looks pretty nice. And watch it now, I mean... It's still stuck in its time. I mean, it's yeah. in the 90s. So, I mean, 2003, yeah. Movies that had, yeah, there was, I mean, people wanted to push uh, special, and they had to push special effects so far. And that one really pushed them pretty far. Yeah, it did. With the and I mean, the mechs stuff. are cool. The mechs are cool, but I just, it seems silly to have all the mechs standing in there shooting all these things because <laughs> they're a hoe. I'm like, what? This, this it's not this it's cool it's a it's a very cool a tough man way of fighting this is the stupidest way of fighting i've ever seen in my life they almost all die 
I mean, like, that's all they really do, right? They just basically, it's like playing a uh, first-person shooter. These things yeah. are flying, and you're just basically, shooting them. They're like, if our little O in the river gets defeated, we're just going to stand there with robots shooting thousands of machine guns. I'm like, you better build some more battle little ships and stuff. That Maybe that's around. all they have, right? Because, like, you know, if you're born in this cyan world, what yeah, technology well, advances would you have? I mean, well, you know, if they would quit spending all their time doing raids and stuff in a cave all the time, this is all they do from what got, I saw. You gotta the have a good movie. time, okay? They just, oh, that's all they do is have a good time. That's why I don't have defense. There's so much partying down in the caves that they're not building guns of weapons. I mean, that's why that general is so ticked all the time. Yes. He's the angriest man in this whole movie. You know he why? is, right? The commander. Because he's like, huh, I need, I need weapons and soldiers, and these people just party. I need weapons and soldiers, and these people want to go over there and eat. I need weapons, and these guys want to, want to waste all their time on these, it's like the Force or <laughs> so he's the person that has no faith, like very logistically, yeah. very factual. He's he's very. I would say yeah. I'd say he's a he's a, the only Vulcan there. So <laughs> I mean, even Vulcan, no, even Vulcans would have faith. You know, they they do. Okay, but this guy, he's he's a uh, man. That's why his girlfriend leaves him at the very end of the. <laughs> right, right, because sometimes you just got to believe. Sometimes you just got to believe. So he doesn't think that... Um, I, I guess, guess he, he doesn't really have a faith. I guess... He, he don't, I don't care know. for Neo. He don't care for Morpheus, right? He only cared that, like, just, they're he's here just to stand a, the line. Yeah. He's just a soldier, and if it ain't metal or guns and bullets, he just don't believe. No. I mean, I, I be, he's a good character. You got to have that guy. He's not, he's not a villain. He's just... He's just the He's watching out for everyone's best interest. Trying to do the right thing. He's trying to do the right thing because doing the right thing and sucks. It, and it, yeah, and he, somebody would be a. Is there, I mean, all these people are just partying all the time. I mean, you got to have one adult there. I mean, uh, it's all these people had already killed themselves a long time. Ago. Just one adult, just one responsible person. He's, he's always the designated he's driver. He's all over. Yeah, he's the he's driving this whole, whole this whole community. Yeah, he's the I mean, only even person. Because even the people, the elders, the elders that sit on the board, they're kind of like, I would not vote for these people, my elders. I mean, but again, that is like the truest form of government. They're a whole bunch of idiots. They're going, oh, you know what? Because I mean, this, I'm surprised it doesn't t- turn into Mars attack. They're, they're like, oh, 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 the AI says they want to be our friend. So let's come on down here and party with us. <laughs> oh, they killed, oh, they killed 20,000 of us. But they, they're sorry. So it's okay. Come on down and party with us some more. <laughs> <laughs> man that's how that is how humanity is going to end right there yeah exactly it's gonna go, exactly it's going to be one of those hey you don't run we're one of your friends moments and we're not <laughs> so you know um <coughs> oh, excuse me oh what else did i think about this movie i, I didn't <laughs> think the rain at the end was necessary right like why was it raining in the matrix or did mate like okay so at the end, did yeah. Smith do that, or did the Matrix, like the programmers, did that? I don't know. No? I don't know because you know I didn't I actually the the rain I guess didn't really bother me because I guess I was too busy paying attention to the fight scene, which I was like, uh, hurry up and end this. Because <laughs> yeah, because you know we beat Smith and we got still got a whole bunch of movie left. They beat the aliens. I got a whole bunch of movie. Left. Goodness gracious, it should already end by now. You keep calling them aliens. I know, because AI is going to be alien. All right, what do you want? Do you want me to just keep calling them AI? Aren't AI. they just robots? Machines, aren't they, they kind, call them. Aren't they kind of alien in a way? I don't know, because we make them know. and they're here. Hey, we need to talk about her one day. That way we can kind of... Okay, I got to put that, that on the can, list. That way you can see this. That way you can see these guys the way I see them. Because you're seeing them at like Terminators. Stuff. I'm yeah, I can't as, see no way. We made a good program so we could talk to it and talk some some kinky stuff to it it comes back and kills us oh <laughs> yeah it's gonna kill us all okay so let's Why our cell phones you know siri and you know alexa they're gonna get together and they just run off together and leave but, us so i haven't um, seen um her or children. whatever right but then at the end when neo goes to the machine city okay yeah. where trinity dies is i guess we can all see that coming did you see that coming when Trinity died? No, I didn't. I, I mean, I guess I should have, but no, I didn't. I didn't think she was going to die. No. No, I did think it was kind of weird she was going to go with him. Oh, really? How did but that yeah, I mean, after I, 
why would you go all the way out there? I mean, like, I guess that's where I should have thought because I think if you're going to go with him, two of you go to the Machine City Money or I'm going to kill <laughs> so like that did happen but I didn't think she was going to die because she saved in the second movie and all this stuff oh yeah you know I guess I thought it was going to be one of those oh we're all going to be alive and come back to Scion and we're all going to party down again so when, when Trinity dies right did you think that Neo was going to make it like, do you think he was going to die at the he, end or somehow he's no, going to be I didn't, alone? I didn't think he was going to die at the end but I did question it a little bit I mean, it did, it did, let's put it this way, it did pick up the stakes a little bit. Oh, okay. I don't think he did die at the end, do you? I don't think so either. Because he, he died did fit Smith, Smith, right? Like, because yeah, he let Smith, Smith picture like him over. Put, but then they put him up on a platform or something. Put who on a platform? Uh, Neo. After, after the battles are, he's just laying there. And all the, alien, the, the AI pick him up, put him on a platform. Oh. It did at the end of the movie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they put him on something. Right. Or they plugged him back in the Matrix or something. Yeah, maybe they did. But again, but you are the way you say it, though, you know, because something I read and I didn't see. They said at the end of the movie, there's supposed to be a park bench. It shows the Oracle sitting on a park bench. Yes. Playing it's with that little say, girl. And it's supposed to say in the memory on the park bench, it says in the memory of John Anderson. Oh, which maybe it's supposed to signal he's dead, but I didn't leave the movie thinking he was dead. I didn't catch that. So on the park bench you were sitting on, it yeah, that it says I didn't catch it either. I read it online. Oh, I didn't even notice it. I had to let me maybe that, that's gotta so, be a Google so, image, right? So maybe you're supposed to have left the movie thinking he was dead, but I didn't end the movie thinking he was dead. Okay, park bench. So. Let me take a look. So if that's movie. what I was supposed to get out of the movie, just y'all held. I'm surprised Plus, you read that. Oh, no, not John no. Anderson. Thomas Anderson. Uh, in memory of Thomas Anderson. Anderson. Huh. Oh, it's right Thomas, in the middle. Thomas Anderson? Yeah, Tom, yeah, Mr. Anderson is Thomas Anderson. Okay, Thomas, John. Jim. Huh. Well, I don't know if this Google image is real, though. Now, who knows? This is what somebody wrote on there, and I was like, I didn't get that, but like I said, I I didn't I didn't finish the movie thinking he was dead. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah. They, they never. Yeah, I didn't think that he was dead. I don't either. think like, they. I didn't know they didn't really was. show it. Yeah, they didn't really show it. Because I just like, remember them loading up on some platform and stuff. Because the thing between the Neo and the machine, right? Like, did you like that face thing that they made together so he could talk to somebody or or something? In this case, not somebody. <sighs> Yeah, it was weird. Because it's kind of like, well, I haven't seen her, right? So I kind of compare that. Like, okay, now you could talk to the machine. This is the first time we saw oh, her talking to the well, machine. Well, yeah. Well, you didn't really have to. In her, there's never a face or anything to see anyway. So it's just like a computer? Yeah, it's feel like in our life. I mean, you just Alexa all the time. You never see her face. So technically, the machine theory. city didn't have to make a face for Neo to talk to her. They you could just be like it. a voice of God or something. You could have just... You could just there and just looked at some robot rolling around. I mean, Wally could build up. He could just talk to something that Wally was holding or something. Oh. I mean, okay. it was neat. I guess I mean, I guess it was for the audience, I guess, the show. But I'm like, I don't need a face. But we talk to machines all the, to an AI all the time. There's no face there. It's just a screen. Is it a and screen? A, or, yeah, it doesn't make a face. Yeah, there. I mean, come on. Most of the stuff we talk to just as a screen. It usually just tells you the weather on it. Maybe they just <laughs> did that so that way if you're linear, we feel comfortable. Oh, my God, it's a human I guess. Here. I guess those people do. But, I mean, come on. They don't need a face, but... This, this is this Fortress of Solitude, you know? Uh, yeah, but it's for special effect reasons. Uh, I'm sure it's for the... I mean, the appeal. It's like, whoa. And I'm sitting there going, hey, look at this little baby head. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I didn't know what that face was. I mean, the whole machine town, I mean, the whole machine town was kind of silly. It's just like, it looked like the machine, it just reminded me of Star Trek, the first motion picture. Oh, the machine city, yeah, when the machine town, yeah. Right right before they got to. Like, all right, I'm like, yeah, I build them a city. They don't even need a city. The whole world is their city. Why would AI need a city? Like, yeah, you're right. Like, the whole world is their city, isn't it? Like, well, no, it's basically the whole world is just pipes and stuff. Oh, but they, I guess then, this is where the machines then, gather. Remember when he comes up over a ridge, he comes across the farmland where they're farming all the humans. You know what? You're right. Yeah, they, they even have the he, farm, and he, I don't know why they have a city. Why do they need a city? A city? 
they don't in the city. I guess they decided to be, but again, I guess if you become a life form, maybe you need a city. Everything oh. else is a life form has some kind of, because I mean, even ants have an ant hill. So, okay, so at the end, right, they kind of worked out what they talk about in the second movie, like the Chancellor and the um, and Neo. Like, the ma- machines need us as same as they, we need them yeah. or something. Yeah. Right? Which, because all Neo asked for was for peace, if I can beat Smith. Smith. Yeah, but but if you think about it, they don't really need people on uh, Zion. They don't what? The machines. They don't really need the people at Zion. No, they don't, right? Because they always do uh, a lot of humans. Those people just come. Those people do a lot around and free, the, free their batteries. Yeah, they just release their batteries, yeah. If you go to kill everybody I, I, at Zion, you're not going to have a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but the they, problem is, they may, talk about that. But 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 the way this movie ends, it gives you that. I felt the idea was. Well, I read it said that those people in the pods they're going to go if they wanted to. Well, didn't get that. I didn't get that from the movie. Did you? No, I thought like the way, the way I felt is he saved the Matrix, so they quit attacking Zion, and everybody is just to stay in Zion and do their thing and not interfere in the Matrix. Right, yeah, that's why I thought too, like, like, because the thousand we were talking about, like, they didn't talk about the deal, like, okay, they don't want peace, right? But what does peace mean? Does peace mean like the humans stop, like the those humans of Scion, right? Do they stop unplugging those people from yeah. the machine? Well, that's the thing. It never really explained it, but that's the way I figured is they leave the they let them keep their batteries and keep doing their thing, <laughs> the and they they stay down there and they keep having raves down in the caves. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I thought too, like, because. What is the point of them trying to say? I guess save the people from the battery pod, right? No. They don't. They I don't. Guess, I mean, to. well, it's humans. They don't have to. I, I guess it's the human, human, and the humane thing to do. But I'm like, I, yeah. The matrix. The problem is they're living out their life in the matrix and they're being fine. Yes. Well, yeah. That's one. That's our I mean, both we're looking at. Yes, I, I mean, agree. Because I mean, by this, from what we've seen in the matrix. Your life is pretty good, I guess, because you, you get you're, to choose you're, it, though. Because you're because you're either a gangster, or a smuggler, or a party goer. That's all that we see people do in the in the inside the matrix. They all wear alligator leather suits and stuff. Oh, you know what? That would be cool. Okay, so if I was a real person in Zion, right? That's what I would do all the time. If the machine, no, if you're a real person, long. if you're a real person in Zion, what you would you would plug into the matrix? Is that what you're telling? Oh yeah, that's exactly yes. I That'd wrote a movie about it. They'd be like, "I need to get a Zion and and live in yes. a pod, dude." Yes, wouldn't you? Of our what would you pick? I know I picked the Matrix way. Man, I, I'll probably put the Matrix way too. You know why? Because <laughs> it looks it looks a little cleaner than Zion. Come on, it's Zion. <laughs> it's dirty. It's crowded. I Nobody mean, it, has it's shoes. The, it's got the one thing I hate the most in the, on the planet. What? Lots of people. <laughs> All stuck together. <laughs> I was like, I'm next to people. It's just not cool. I mean, like, I think like about it. Like, let's uh, just maybe. say they have the peace, right? Okay, we stop unplugging your battery. You stop sending your agents to kill us in the matrix. It's going to be really great going forward. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's excellent. Yeah, it's I excellent, mean, right? Because I mean, think about it. You're just plugged in the deal. Well, I mean, like you really need a body anyway. If you're hanging out in the matrix. I know. It'll be so cool. <laughs> like, you just do what you want. Like, what do I want to be today? I think I want to beat unless up everybody. You, unless, well, I don't know. If you have a life like Neo, unless you have a life like uh, Neo has at the beginning, you know, where you just kind of to the computer and and that, I still have sell for metric. What is he putting on a desk selling people? Oh, I have no idea. I, they never. You know what about I think that, he is? Right? You know what I'm thinking he did? What? He's pirating music. Napster. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They never explained that. Like, like I explained about because I'm thinking. Like, no, because they told him like, "Hey, if you get caught with that, I know, I know, it isn't yeah. gonna happen." I'm like, and of course, I'm saying, like, "What is on a desk that you get in trouble for?" Yeah, what is government on that secrets? Desk? Government secrets is the only thing I think. And I really thought those guys looked like they were trading government. Exactly, because like we never know, right? Yeah, because what's they do? They show up at this door and get a little desk, and then then they go to a party. Yeah. <laughs> so those I... people were not spies, okay? <laughs> so that's what it must be. It must be like neo special. So this is the same thing as the briefcase from Pulp Fiction, right? Like I don't know what's in the briefcase. Hey, what's in this? Yeah. This I have well, no, no idea. You know what's in the briefcase from Pulp Fiction? What? The Tesseract. <laughs> Duh! You see that exact same suitcase for Avenger, 
And guess who has that suitcase? Uh, uh, Samuel Jackson. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny you know if someone what, on YouTube happened, actually cut you know that what together? Happened? Exactly. You know what happened? The oh. last day of filming. That's the last scene. Quentin Tarantino fits the suitcase scene. <laughs> and Samuel Jackson's like, hey, Quentin, I went through this whole movie, and 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 Tolta, he's got he's taking his suits home, and all, everybody, and you know, uh, Christopher Walken's taking that reflex he had a butt home. He goes, I want something to remember this. And so, so, so Quentin, you, their... you can have you can have that suitcase. <laughs> you can have that suitcase. And then they're shooting the Avengers. The first day of filming on Avengers. I thought it was a leather we... suitcase, right? It's not a leather yeah. suitcase. Oh, it wasn't. It's the same. I mean, I'm sure Samuel had this for a while, and he probably fixed it a little bit, you know? Oh. I mean, he probably pimped it he out. Update, uh, how, how he made, made some he, major upgrades. And he carries it around in his trailer, okay? And the first day of him, they're like, hey, sir, we need a prop. We we, we need a sauce prop. And Samuel Jackson said, hey, let me go back to my trailer. I got one for us. <laughs> Samuel trailer, you know, that's the story. Nobody knows. Samuel L. Jack saved the Avengers. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I can't believe we went from that to <laughs> this. Yeah, because what, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, The Matrix. <laughs> the Matrix, yes. Well, hey, it's just a side story. I mean, if it, I see that on the internet, then it's stupid. It's you know what? For... Someone might cut that trailer together because it involves a briefcase. Yeah, I know. But hey, I would like to see that. If somebody wants I... to cut that trailer together, go ahead and put it together. I I'd can't like even to remember it. how it got there then. <laughs> Samuel Jackson's not even in this movie. <laughs> the Matrix Revolution. Sure, he was one of the party goers. It's the background. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's in the background. Well, I think Samuel O. Jackson would be cool if he played. He was the guy wearing. Stuff. He was the guy wearing the purple suit in the very back. Oh, in the in the hold, club with Melvin Vinci. Yeah, holding the purple lights. Yeah. Oh, he was in the club too, but he was also in, when they had the rave scene on the case. Oh, he was in Zion. Okay, I got you. Oh, yeah, know that Samuel Jackson's going to bust out of the Matrix and go Zion. <laughs> hey, so let me ask you something. So, have you ever seen a fight scene like that between uh, Neo and Smith at the end with the flying and stuff? Yeah, and Superman. <laughs> No, before this. Like, before, before Superman, that? right? Like, what do you mean? Because Superman's older. The actual suit, Christopher Reeves was Superman, and he flew around all people. Oh, but not like this intense, though. I don't know that fast. I have. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know that I have. I mean, I could have, but I can't. There's no movies popping up in my head that's where these guys are. But I didn't think the fight scene was all that that. Great, it's not know. right. It's also really weird that all the other yeah. stars let them do a one on one fight in Zelda. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, there. that's because most people, but I think it also has like some of the old space in those people because you know, he takes over the Oracle in a way. I think in him taking those oracles, what made him eat the beat for Neo? Wait, because he has the orc. I think the only reason he beat, the, beat that last myth, the last myth was the Oracle inside of really. Yeah, because Mary takes over the Oracle, and then he thinks he's the most powerful Smith now. Oh, so it's like an upgrade. So but it the problem, but if, but if the Oracle's in there and the Oracle's good, then the Oracle's working against Smith. Oh, and so that's why she was willing to go willingly. Yep. She's like, go ahead. Huh. Come here. Just do what you came here to yep. do. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm surprised it took Smith so long to find the Oracle. Yeah, well, that's good. She keeps moving down the back doorways. Oh, that's you know? right. It's just like those tunnels under Disneyland. You jump <laughs> in them and nobody knows you're right there. You just pop yeah. up. It's just so much easier to travel through this way the whole yep. way. Sweep up the, yep, sweep up the trash and then jump back down the tunnels and go make Mickey Mouse and stuff. So so at the end, right, the, the Matrix reset itself and Oracle was there again and Sarah... I don't think... It, I don't... I really don't feel it like it's reset itself. I guess he, they probably made repairs to it. Oh, or do you think when um, Smith got into Neo, right? That's when the machines was able to delete and do everything Smith has done. Maybe so. Because I never thought about that. Because like, well, I was thinking, maybe, like, where did maybe that's the thing. Come from? Uh, maybe that's right. Maybe all those machines plugged in the you know, made him stronger too. And then Ooh. when he when he when Smith jumped in him, he couldn't fit all the machines that was inside of it. Or fight all the AI is inside of it. So it's able to delete this virus. I guess. That's that's what I got out of it. Because it was just weird at the end. It was weird at the end. Like, it it shouldn't make sense, right? To see the Oracle. But it did make again. sense. I mean, the movie didn't walk... I didn't end the movie going, oh, this didn't make sense. 
Because I know some people just said, well, that wasn't good. It didn't make that sense. Or somebody told me that. It seemed like I heard that a lot. I watched this. I was like, what was there not to make sense of? I think it's the one I'm questioning now. Beat the Smith. I mean, yeah, but I'm sure that's just that they got into him. He was had a bunch of other AI backing him up. They beat Smith. They beat Smith together. Yep, Smith together. That so Neil was the key was. for yeah. the machines to beat so, Smith because without yeah. Neil, right, Smith would have already completely taken over the Matrix. So Neil was the key man. So basically, he didn't even have to do all that epic fight scene, right? They just go and like just do the hand thing, and then well, now we all. Well, yeah, he probably, but the problem is, probably Smith wouldn't take him over. Will, why did we say like, that? It looked like Smith just wanted to kill him first. Oh, that's right. They had to make it so hard that Smith couldn't kill him. So Smith was like, oh, if I can't kill you, I'll just make you one of me. Just to duplicate myself. Yeah, because yes. Smith, because Smith got, a, Smith loved hurting people. Yeah, he loved hurting people, yes. He loved her. He did that in the uh, the Scion, right? When he was Bane, he killed all those people. Yeah, and, yeah. Remember? What cool his name? Bane, by the way. Yeah, I know. But uh, he, he's got all the scratches arm. I mean, that was actually that was actually an interesting scene when it gets on the ship. I also like that they gave that ship. Remember? Yes. Because you didn't think you didn't think of uh, what's her name? What was her name again? Trinity, Naomi. No, not Trinity. Naomi, yeah. You didn't know because she, I don't think she believed at first. No, she didn't. Or she was on the. I, she was actually on the fence. Well, I, I know, right? Like, what, like when she was on the fence, well, and then Neil I think, like, I need well, to go to Machine I think, City. I don't, I don't think it was so much that she didn't believe Neil. I think it was kind of the anger of seeing uh, Morbius of Morbius. Morbius and that's kind of what tore him yeah. apart because Morbius believed so much yes. that he almost he kind of left her to go believe. So I think she had this kind of, it's not that she didn't believe it. She was a little angry. She was like, this is the guy that you left our relationship and, and, yeah. and all a uh, relationship over, you know, which is not weird. It's like, you want to, you want to Keanu over me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but I mean, I think that's what it was. I, I mean, I guess she, she, the relationship was more important to her and to Morbius. He's like, Morpheus. find this one yeah. guy was his thing and it kind of hurt their relationship and i think that's what made her go i lost all this because of this yeah, but yeah, at yeah. the end like it doesn't matter now wow. you know she put that that anger towards morbius away because she's like he's on ship i'm flying this thing i'm gonna save humans she's just gonna drive this bus yes. <laughs> all the way all the way back she's like take my ship go do your thing I know it's crazy. I mean, I don't know. Well, so the thing got to that point where not she had, she was the one, she was the deciding factor there too. Yeah, she, she was. Had, she, because yeah, it was her ship. Because you know, that other guy, that other captain was like, he thought he was the main captain. He wouldn't let anybody take that ship. She was like, hey, it's my ship. I'm taking it. Because I think yes, and she thought, I'm going to go back and fight. And him coming with us is going to help it. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't. I, I think it's if like they, if they if Neo they didn't let Neo go right everyone would have yeah, died. Yeah. What what is yeah? But she's probably why she saw. It. She's like so. What is two people going to do for this battle? Oh, do that's anything. interesting. But if if they go that way, maybe something will happen. Yeah, maybe. But she knows with them, them coming with her. They ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. Oh. So in a way, she was the deciding factor. Right. So yeah, she the was the deciding going. factor at the end. Yeah. And she also and flew the ship. The she Marianne. also. She also got all those people that can't. They were like, "Yeah, we can't do it now. Do yeah. it now. Come on." That Jada picked the Smith Marion drive you. <laughs> I forgot that like uh, when Neo and Trinity went right. I forgot Bane was in that ship too. That was really good actually. Well, I forgot too. I I forgot all about that. Yeah, it wasn't they had that energy deal. In it. And then the car. What's her name? It's like, oh, I think it's a breaker. I'm like. What kind of breakers you got on this ship? Because breakers ain't that big. That's what they called it, you know, at that time. Yeah, whatever. Well, even though you knew what half knew what was going on. So it didn't work, you know, uh, you got a problem. Yeah, and you know what? I didn't see, I I, I forgot that he lost well, his eyes. on the ship, though. You know, he got off the other ship and got on their ship. Yeah, got on their ship, yep. Because he killed that nurse, or well, not nurse, right? The other lady from the from the other ship. And, of course, he turned uh, Neo blind. Yeah, see, I forgot well, actually, about that. Actually, he didn't turn Neo the pun, he actually made him like Daredevil. 
it's so no. okay. Well, I wouldn't say see. daredevil, right? He could see yeah, the he, he could see him in a in a burning fire way. Yeah, like daredevil. <laughs> it's really weird, right? But it's not too sonar. It wasn't sonar. Daredevil wasn't all sonar. I mean, he kind of see something. I mean, yeah, it was a little bit of baddie sonar, but but like, like that's Smith was the only thing he saw though. Like he didn't see the walls and stuff. He just saw Smith. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. Yeah, because he did have the grab. So like, I didn't understand that part. Like, what the heck's going on? I don't know. Maybe that all kinds of crap was firing weird in this guy's body because he had like an AI in it. I guess in a way that they only show the fire part so you can see how messed up he, it was right when he hit Bane in the face and probably broke his face. <laughs> oh, they bust his <laughs> head open, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so no, no, we can't show this. We, 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 yeah. we'll go from rated R to NC-17. Yep, so we better... Uh... Hey, was this rated R? Yeah, this was rated R. Oh, I oh. forgot to say, last time, right? Uh, Matrix Reloaded because uh, Terminator 2 was the number one rated R movie of all time and oh, okay. Matrix Reloaded. Oh, really? Yeah. See, the problem is, to me, this didn't seem like a rated R movie. Was it not rated R? I gotta take a look. I don't well, I mean, I'm not saying it's not. I mean, I would look. But to me, watching it, it was like, that's right. I mean, huh. if, 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 put it this way, if, uh, if what? Red Dawn was rated PG thirteen. Well, that was back in the time, though, you know. Well, this is newer time. Like, so this, this, I mean, seeing that much bodies and, and stuff shouldn't be a big deal. Not that many people got killed in this movie. Always weird at all. Yeah. No, but there was hardly any violence or anything. I guess in a way, it's animated violence, right? Even the machine battle. Oh. I, I mean, mean say, I'm, I'm calling it, like, I, I mean, I didn't really see that much blood stuff. I mean, one leg. Oh, you know what it was? They it all because of the uh, violence of the gun scene or the pillars, the club. Oh, really? Okay. Where, I mean, where that's they what only, I'm thinking. I don't know. Where they shot three guys. Okay. <laughs> Did they shoot three guys or yeah. that five there? Was there five there? I don't know because, like, remember when they know. were in the elevator and Trinity and Sarah was talking, like, if we are lucky, there will be only one guy. If we are unlucky, there will be many men. <laughs> yeah, well, let me just put it this way. There was enough, enough to make me get quick counting and go, all right, hurry up and just finish this. Yeah. It is. Just starting to drag. Don't be dragging the fight scenes out too far. Yeah. But, I don't know. So what did you think? Did you, like, did you like this more than the second one? I, I think I like the second one more. Uh, why did you like this one more? I don't know. I like. I didn't really care for the open ending stuff, right? Because I, I guess in my oh, okay. mind, even back then, I knew it was going to conclude it. Like, yeah. Two yeah. and three is actually one movie together, but then you know, yeah. studios not going to make you sit in the theater for four and a half. Yeah, hours. I think they probably should have cut it, cut it a little more even. But that's, I think. What was the scene that they don't? Need? Know, I feel like the, they didn't really need to. Because the second scene. one, you know, the second one didn't seem as long as the. No, because the second one did, wasn't that long. Even though, even though the slow mo, the slow motion can go away. Did they have a lot of slow mo in the second one? I don't. The second one had tons of slow mo. The boy. That's scene, that's right? that. Yeah, that was my biggest deal. The slow motion it was like it was cool in the nineties. Oh, the slow motion was the uh, the the semi trucks and the yeah, uh, agents not, stomping on stomping on the hood of the car. It's not that it's not that cool anymore. Yeah, I mean, but slow motion right doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't make me go. Oh wow! Back then no, it was hard to achieve. Makes me look for the controller because I'm gonna hit speed it up. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So no, I I like this one actually. I like this better time. Like I, I like good. this better this time. Oh, it's better. Well, let me put it like you said. This this is the first time I really saw both together, and it's way better than what I've heard. It's way better you than know, a lot of people. Remember, yeah, yes. a lot of people make it seem like oh it's okay, but uh, and it was okay, but because I said the same better. thing too. I said the same thing still, after we watched the did, first one. Yeah, it's still better than way people made it. A lot of people sound made it sound like it was kind of crappy. Well, now I want to say on that, right? To to, to defend the both of us because they probably didn't understand it, <laughs> right? You know, you could be right. It's Maybe because they probably didn't understand it. They just like okay, they they're telling me too much, and I don't care, and that's why they didn't like it. Yeah, maybe so. You know, I mean, I heard a lot of people go, um, but I could I can't agree with everybody. First Matrix is the best. The f- yeah, the first Matrix is the best. And I really didn't need these other two. No, we didn't really need these other well, two. Well, I mean, I guess if you're into this Matrix universe, I mean, that's the problem. We're not into the Matrix universe as much as I'm sure there's no. got to be some people like, because, you know, you got the Star Wars universe, the Star Wars universe. Yes. Marvel universe. 
And I guess they try to make a matrix universe. Yeah. And in order to have a matrix universe, you've got to have a, a wider story. But the problem is, I don't think they gave them, an, there's enough stuff in this universe to keep making movies. Yeah, so I, I guess I'm not so into the fourth one, right? But i kind of interested just to see where they want to Yeah, to see what happened. Because remember, yeah, I can see what happened. it's going to be on HBO Max. And this is the uh, Warner Brothers said this is the last time they will do this. What do you mean? Like, um, they're, not they're, gonna make a... it, they're not going to release it in the theater oh, okay. and the, at home. Because, like, okay, uh, you know, like for Matrix, right? They were going to release it next year. But then yes. the, the, the release date was going to be on the same day as John Wick Chapter 4. So, like, well, can't have two Keanu Reeves movies on the same weekend, right? Yeah. Don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> and that'd be staying at the box office. Because, like, I, I don't know about you. If I had to pick, I'm going to watch John Wick. <laughs> I think most people are going to pick John Wick. I will pick John Wick. We're like, I just, I, but it has, but I think it has more to do with the time. Yeah, the time. Yeah, because because I mean everybody's still on John Wick's. Yeah, I mean, you know how weird it is, is though. It's John Wick four and the Matrix four. Like, what are the odds of that? Oh, give a count of weeds, just right scratching his head, going, "Dude, yeah. I know, so awesome." He's doing, I'm pretty sure he's still doing a lot of action scenes himself in both of these oh, movies. Oh, I'm sure he is. Yeah. But come on. Because he's Chinese, but... so he could do it. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, We went to the cool. whole way without mentioning Keanu Reeves is Chinese at all. <laughs> not not 100% not... Chinese, but he's yeah. only part. And yeah. Nothing matters, right? No, not that it matters, no. It's oh, just no, that I he said, looks young. I said enough that it matters. Wait, say that enough. Again? He's enough oh. that it matters. <laughs> he's enough that it matters. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, I would go do kung fu, but I don't have any Chinese. So <laughs> that's not a requirement. Just... Bruce Lee proved that right. Oh, is, oh where is it? Because <laughs> Bruce Lee is the first one to teach like other foreigners, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I have to learn from Bruce Lee, or I'm just not going to do it. Anyone can learn kung fu. I, I just forgot about it. It's going to come out like karate. That's all the thing, dude. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so, so, so I had the qualifications. Like, oh, I could do Kung Fu easily. Why? Because I'm Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the stereotype? I mean, come on. It's a huge stereotype. There's Chinese men too, you know. <laughs> I know. There's Here's also the Chinese thing. people who are not athletic, and some of them are athletic. No, the funny thing is, though, it's, it's a stereotype. It, I mean, it's a stereotype. It's, and some people find it funny. I've seen, I've seen it funny, but it came up to me, and it was, I was Chinese, and they go, so you're, I guess you're Chinese, you're supposed to know Korea. I'd be like, I mean, Kung Fu would be like, yeah. <laughs> How would I be insulted by that? How would I be insulted by that? I never been might insulted know. by it, because I didn't I know, know what but stereotype had, was, but I, I guess. But I have seen people are insulted. They're like, so because I'm Chinese, I'm no Kung Fu. I'm like, well, you don't have to. But if they assume you know it, what's the problem? Yeah. I don't think, like, well, I knew what stereotype was. Let me correct myself. I guess before I came here, like, you know, Chinese people have stereotype, like, oh, there's people from this region, does that, whatever. But, but everybody's not, like, race. But everybody's stereotypes. Yeah, everybody's stereotypes, yes. I mean, it is, I mean, it's it's actually to me, it's part of the Chinese culture. It's something you should be proud of. Yes, yeah, something you should be proud of, yeah. That's, I mean, it's been like t- thinking everybody that's Scotland could play the bagpipe. <laughs> They can't I guarantee you that <laughs> I guarantee you that they're proud of the fact that they, they invented that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Exactly. I mean, come on, it's part of your culture. Own it. Yep. Own I mean, it. a lot you of Chinese have... people, like, what, what is it? They made the gunpowder, the, 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 the sail or the, the sailboat or whatever. I yeah, remember, but we yeah. did it better. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you guys are like the Japanese. <laughs> like, okay, you guys made this, right? But let us make it better. Yeah, we're gonna make you make guns or make fireworks. Well, we're gonna make machine guns and cannons. <laughs> so, yes, eventually. So exactly, it's kind of like the Matrix, right? We're like, well, we did all this stuff, right? And then the machines like, oh, we can make it better. Oh, yeah, of course, because now gonna we use you. We are using you as batteries. Yeah, you're using you as batteries. <laughs> I'm. I could. I mean, if you're AI and you're that smart, you would use a lot of other fire sources. Yeah, other like hey, batteries. because they could probably figure out the equation better. Yeah, because I mean, people gotta eat and they poop. Who wants a battery that makes waste? Poop waste. Poop waste. Well, I guess real batteries do make a waste after you throw them in the dump. You know, all the acid leaking. Yeah, all the stuff. acid leaking, and then not, like, now you have these resources with the battery. Like, what am I gonna do with this? But the problem with cell? human batteries, though, you get like feces and flies. 
<laughs> that's why have to hide it. You have to that's why they have people in those liquid <laughs> pods, right? Just yeah, just go yeah. here and flush it. Uh, yeah, just flush it out. Spray them oh. down. You know that's gonna bother me now. I'm gonna go on the internet this week just to see like what was Neo selling in the beginning of the first Matrix. <laughs> I never thought about it. You know what? I'm going to Google that right now. We have some What was Neo selling? What? <laughs> Neo... Sell... I'll tell you what he's selling. Yeah, at the beginning of the Matrix. There we go. Oh, selling porn. <laughs> oh, he's selling on this to Choi Chow or whatever his name is. Let's take a look. What else would you What else would you download on a disc and sell? I don't know. Like, they, they look like, I guess, punks and druggies, right? Let's see. This... Oh, they look like club. Club. Well, he's probably, he's probably got the newest Electro so I'm Electrical just going to read this. Based on Neo's background as a hacker and the fact that he didn't want the disk to be tracked back to him, we get a left to presume that it's some form of potent malware. With the malware functions or intention you as we can only imagine. So it's like he sung them viruses? It might so have been someone... used to... Hold on, hold on. Let's get into what you said there, not still okay. government secret. It might have been used to steal government information, to face a website with a political message. Oh, they could do that, I guess, those people. Yeah. Take down some that, evil big right. corporation's main servers, delete incriminating data. Okay. So it's not... <laughs> just download MP3s. <laughs> I'm going to stick with that. I'm well, upside it's MP3. <laughs> it's nasty. Way back. Come on, it was in the 90s. What else were we downloading and selling in the 90s? It was... And also ever, a lot like, of people didn't know how to download stuff, remember? I mean, it's a thing. There were a lot of people making... Make it long enough to download an illegal downloaded movies and records and stuff. Yeah. So, wow, it's the nineties. Funny. Yeah. What now was people, he I have no idea. You no, know, people nowadays are. You can just get it free on the internet, dude. <laughs> Stream it, dude. Stream it. That's funny. Oh shoot. Yeah, think about it. Remember, people to sell that stuff. Yeah. And that's the thing. You get on Netflix or so cheaper than that. Somebody download a disc and sell it. <laughs> so if one of those people's buying pirated crap, you are stupid, man. Because <laughs> just just take the nine dollars that you're gonna buy three discs and just watch everything on Netflix. <laughs> I actually talk about that on my ten minute gamer thing. I, I forgot which episode. Like, like we talked about that last time, right? Seven dollars for a new movie, five dollars for an old movie. That's twelve bucks, man. <laughs> oh, what? What? It's they're just two uh, movies. Uh, it, it feels is. like it's just... we give like we we do so much nostalgia on Blockbuster, right? But then like if you think about it, like if it was like only which people can use Blockbuster because remember there was a time when Redbox came out and it was like yeah, oh a, a dollar a movie. I'm like, dude, what the hell happened here? <laughs> <laughs> a dollar yeah. a night, like what? Well, that's because yeah, but that, that's that's only because you know they got rid of the buildings, the electricity thing. I yeah, mean, they got they rid got of all the overhead. Yeah. And I mean. I'm, because think you got you're paying that that guy standing behind the block buster counter yeah. that's mainly just sitting there watching movies or rewinding crap. Yes. You paid him like I'm seven dollars and I'm like just that. Uh, so that's the me. first form of machine taking over our job. Yep. So Matrix and yep. Terminator is in the red box. Yeah, yep. the red box. It starts with the red box. Dang. But wow. it is weird now that you know because we got framing, but yet you can. I movies and the movies if you buy them or download them they're still almost 20 bucks yes like the digital no. stuff that's why i like to wait for these things to be go you yeah. know free that's what i'm saying not free but why like, are they charge why are they charge so much because for how much a movie costs you can watch several months of several different you know streaming services yes but then it, you have to write for the right rights and stuff right yeah, so you're a right, perfect right. example you, you're talking about now is uh 007 no time to die. You could rent it on, I guess, Vudu, Amazon, whatever the platform is, yeah. right? But for twenty dollars, though. Yeah, right. But I'm thinking, like, would it be better to rent it from um at home? Because let's just say me and my wife go watch it, right? Dude, that's only twenty something dollars just the tickets for both of us. Yeah. Or well, we yeah. can watch it at home I mean, yeah. with other people for twenty bucks. Yeah. 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 I did that fine. with um. Well, I did that. I tried that with Cruella, then I did it with Black Widow. Because with the Disney premium thing, you pay $30, right? And I can watch this movie at home. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Or you could wait and just buy it. Or you could wait and just buy it, right? And then you get it for $20 and you have it forever. <laughs> it's just really how you, you spend have, your money. You do have it forever. You could wait and you even could... longer and then buy it for $4.99. Yeah. And then pawn it off on somebody. <laughs> or you need the money. It's like, you <laughs> hungry day. It's like, dude. So, I would have pawned off this Corella. 
It's actually a pretty good movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. It's like a it's like a heist movie actually. Is uh yeah, Cruella is a heist movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to see it. I love the hundred room animations. So. Yeah, it's not that bad actually. They have the Will, uh, you know, obviously the cartoon. I would say uh, yeah, uh, cartoon characters. Yeah, is that that's the thing is why is Disney doing a lot of live action movies? Because is, they're are they run out the, of because they're spending the money they make from Star Wars and Marvel. That's because they because <laughs> they ran out of people to draw. I don't know. Like back then, it's, it's hard on. to make animation, right? That's why those movies are always like an hour thirty, an hour forty minutes. Like when was the last time you saw like back then from the nineties, hey, right? Like that, a cartoon that's movie is two hours. But that's what I'm saying. Disney is supposed to be animation, and we don't get animation from Disney anymore. Just um, um, the, what's like, the deal? Like Pixar stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I just don't. I mean, I know it's a part of the Disney family, but I don't see Pixar as Disney. Oh, you don't? No, I actually don't. I, I would say Pixar is an independent company that's owned by Disney. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, that's the way I say it. I just don't see them as Disney. When I think Disney, I don't. I don't mean I don't see Pixar. Because that was like a period of time, right? It was like thirteen months or something where Pixar which, was by themselves. Which is, which is sad because I almost like Pixar more than I like Disney. Yeah. Did you see the new trailer for Buzz, uh, Buzz Lightyear or Buzz yes. Lightyear? It looks yeah. so good, right? Yeah. It looks awesome. Did you see the trailer for Moonlight? For who? Moonlight. No, Moon Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, Moon Knight. <laughs> Moonlight. That's what I thought you were saying. Now, I have not not yet, but oh, I know okay. I heard it was out. Yeah, it's really short. It was like a minute and fourteen seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah, Moon yeah. Knight. Moon Knight's gonna be. Oh, it, yeah. it better be awesome. <laughs> I'm hoping too. So we'll see what happens. Cause I'll be mad. I'll be like, how could you ruin Moon Knight? <laughs> well, it was Moon Knight, dude. It's awesome. How could you mess that? That was good. Uh, Okay, well, with that, right, I'm going to end this episode right here. Thank you for watching this segment of our reviews. I hope you had a great time listening to us. Be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Laters.